the Philippine Air Force's multirole fighter acquisition project is becoming an interesting competition between Lockheed Martin, Saab and Korea Aerospace Industries. With only around US$1.4 billion United States dollars to use including the budget to procure the necessary munitions like BV-ROM, high-off Borazite S-ROM, standoff and anti-ship missiles, and targeting pods, the wiggle room is limited due to low budget. Lockheed Martin's original offer of 12 new F-16C D Block 70 Vipers together with several rounds of AIM-120 C-7 AMRA, spares and support package for five years, costs twice the Philippine Air Force MRF budget, and now it appears that they have reduced the package inclusions so the Philippine Air Force could acquire at least seven F-16 Vipers. The U.S. government is also throwing in between two to five F-16C D Block 30 or 40 Fighting Falcons for hot transfer as part of the deal, to allow immediate training and familiarization with the type. Saab is offering 14 new JAS 39C D Gripens, with a basic integrated logistics support package for one or two years. It remains to be confirmed if Saab will upgrade these aircraft with the current program that is scheduled for implementation with Sweden's own JAS 39C D Gripens. Korea Aerospace Industries appears to fit resale of 24 upgraded FA-50 Block 20 or Block 70 based on their new block classification, Fighting Eagle Light Combat Aircraft, and may even afford the upgrade of the PAF's existing FA-50 PH aircraft to Block 70 standard. While not considered as real multirole fighters, the FA-50 is being touted to be a small MRF that can do at least 70-80% to 80 of what the F-16 Block 70 Viper can do, minus the munitions carrying capacity, range, and power. Separately there are discussions between the US and Philippine governments on the transfer as grants of 12 to 24 used F-16C D Block 30 Fighting Falcons as part of the US Security Sector Assistance Roadmap, which could be upgraded to F-16C D Block 70 and 72 Viper standards using PH government funds and or US FMF.